What's an event in history that is so ridiculous it sounds fake? Stephen King was so obsessed with the song Mambo No. 5 that his wife threatened to divorce him. Hannibal saved his army by tying torches to the horns of 5,000 cows and driving them one direction. The Romans thought they were the enemy army and converged on them, while Hannibal quietly snuck his 10,000-man force out of the valley by another route. That time Denmark and Canada, I think, had a war over an island. Every time a navy vessel drove by they picked up the flag of the over nation, planted their own and left a bottle of alcohol. I heard it stopped not that long ago. The guy who founded Scientology once engaged in a multi-day naval battle with a log. He would then go on to commit an act of war against Mexico. The field of the cloth of gold, where an English king and a French one tried to outbling each other. The fact that two monkeys covered in gold leaf were far from the most ostentatious display is a good indication of how tasteful it was. When America went to war with Spain, the Spanish forgot to tell their territory, Guam. The U.S. sent a single warship to the island where they took 13 shots at the fort. The leaders on the island rode out to apologize, they couldn't return their salute, they had no gunpowder. That is why Guam is a U.S. territory. The Great Wyndham Frog War In 1754 Wyndham, Connecticut, was still a frontier settlement. One hot night, the residents awoke to gruesome sounds that convinced them that the local Indians were attacking. Throughout the night, they strove to drive off the attackers with steady gunfire. In the morning, they crept out to find thousands of dead frogs who had spent the night competing for the dwindling water. Rather than being ashamed, this has become a central part of the town's character. The town's symbol is a frog and the bridge is decorated with large frogs at each corner. Operation Mincemeat Basically, the British dressed a random dead guy in a military uniform, put fake invasion plans in his pocket, and dropped him on the shore of Spain. The Spanish found the body and invasion plans and informed Germany. Germany, believing the invasion plans were real, sent an army to Greece, which is exactly what the Brits wanted, because they were actually going to invade Sicily. The Gom Chimpanzee War It sounds like something right out of a Planet of the Apes movie. The Four Seasons Total Landscaping Press Conference it would have been rejected for an episode of Veep, because it was so ridiculous. The Great Canadian Maple Syrup Heist, the largest, dollar value, inflation-adjusted, heist in Canadian history. Cadaver Synod New Pope digs up the old Pope, puts him on trial, finds him guilty, and punished the corpse. For whatever reason they don't teach you about that in Catholic school. Battle of Castle Itter Nazis and American Allied troops going to a castle rescuing some people there. A heartwarming one, the Christmas truce in 1914. The whole premise sounds like a sappy Hallmark Christmas film, but I'm so happy that it's actually real. Stanislav Petrov literally saved the world from nuclear destruction by not calling in a missile launch when he was in command. He figured it must be a malfunction even though all his computers told him it was not. It was a malfunction. Had he called it in, there would have been several billion dead. Colonel Sanders' entire life. Look it up on Wikipedia, it's utterly ridiculous. That thing at Kitty Hawk, where two guys in a bike shop cobbled together a glider and attached an internal combustion engine and started flying? Marvin Heemeyer and the Killdozer. It sounds like something straight out of a movie. When they blowed up that whale and it just made things worse. Pepsi becoming a world superpower has to be up there right? Edit, I want to add John McAfee's life as well. The last guillotine execution in France took place after the first Star Wars movie was released.